Usually, in a film, you would use close-ups to emphasize drama, and you would start probably a little wider, and you would move in as the drama increased. Dominic was very clear with his brief about what he felt he wanted to achieve from the outset, and that was an intimacy and an intensity from the outset of the film. So the film begins and you are as close as you could possibly get to these actors. And so actually we've broken rules here and I think it's the moments where we use wider shots in the film where you get to breathe and actually we use the wider shots maybe only a dozen times in the film, but it's, it's those moments that punctuate the change of something or th something new happening. We use different cameras at different times, so we've got cameras in the drawers. When Macbeth's using the tape recorder, we look up at him and see him from the drawer's perspective. We've got cameras above in the rig that we use, and that was a decision that we made quite late on, and that was to do with the fact that we had the benefit of working in a, a working theatre, and there was a fly system there, and we wondered what might happen if we rigged a 4K camera up in the rig and actually fly a camera out towards the end of the show. That moment at the end of the show where we fly that camera out is probably the widest moment of the show. And of course, that's when Lady Macbeth has died and it's the only moment we move away from them in the piece. And I think it works for that reason. Well, firstly, I hope that we've made an enjoyable film and that people engage with it and that people look at this piece of work and see that you know, you can do something different with a Shakespearean text and make it engaging and contemporary. But I think most importantly, I hope that people will see that the two art forms can collide and you can collaborate to create something that's a really exciting piece of theatre on screen. But also, I hope that this film stands up as a film in its own right. <laughs>